little bit of a nibble for our Mac Jack Ray Walker. So they get in behind the gate. We're running race two of uh, our... Uh, 10 event card today. The first was won by Letters on the Beach. About to go. They've reached the dispatch point. The mobile picking up momentum now. The green twinkling light. We're off in the second. Our Mac Jack began well from the middle of the line and Brados Babe, who's been well tried on fixed odds, was well away also. Brados Babe will lead and Our Mac Jack will take its back early. They're being followed by a good ideal who was well away off the second line and was going to scoot up and find that posse available outside of the leader. In behind those was on that day. Balance Balancing up three back the inside for Hewitt and Lynx Butte Girl was getting a Butte run into the race early on the outside. Now going around them quickly, making a fast forward move was Blake Jones on Seattle Trace. He's going to go up and see if the chair's available. It is, and he'll take it. Further back in the field, Tamora Reactor being followed by Top Hat. And last of all was Loriston Dash. 43 seconds was the lead time. And as they ran the bottom corner and headed out into the back straight, the leader on the inside is Brados Babe. And Jay Scott is setting a fairly mediocre temper. Brados Babe led by two and a half. Seattle Trace was second. Our Mac Jack third leaders back. A good ideal is one out and one back as they travelled through the first circuit. Over on the inside was uh, on that day in the purple and uh, Mo for, uh, for Hewitt. It's being followed through. On the outside of those heading down the back is Lynx Butte Girl, who's now three back in what sixth position the outside. They're being followed by Top Hat, Tamora Reactor and last was Loriston Dash. They've worked off the back. They're inside the 1200 now and in 33 and 7 it was a very leisurely jaunt for the first quarter. Into the lane they come and uh, Jay Scott is rating Brados Babe well. Brados Babe at the bell. Seattle Trace second. Tamora Reactor going to put some spice into the last 800. Wishes up on the outside. Our Mac Jack still the marker line and in the middle a good ideal. On the inside three back on that day. Lynx Butte Girl now just in between horses and further back to Top Hat and Loriston Dash. 31 and 6, the second split, but they've still gone 64 and 3, and the leaders are going to be hard to round up in this last 600. Brados Babe is just quickening momentarily. On his outside, as Brados Babe is Seattle Trace, Our Mac Jack still can't put a bid in, and Walker's trying to get his hand up and spot the auctioneer. They're being followed further back by Tamora Reactor, and in between runners then was a good ideal. Brados Babe, the leader, the one to beat on the outside having another look Seattle Trace leaders back and waiting was our Mac Jack and Tamora Reactor trying to rev up now Jay Scott goes for home and may well be home Brados Babe kicked at the entrance to the lane our Mac Jack and Seattle Trace Brados Babe he's driven this well from the front Seattle Trace is having a real look at him late Brados Babe is dying on its run Seattle Trace lunges gets there Seattle Trace, Seattle Trace has nailed Brados Babe, who was home for all money in the lane. Not sure about third. There's a wall of them. Uh, a good ideal. Top hat, our Mac Jack, Tamura Reactor, Loriston Dash further back. Lynx Butte Girl, actually the last one I saw pulling up, and just in front of it was on that day. And I fancy Seattle Trace has done enough out wide to win. Number